Hey, what's up, Darian? This is Todd over at Perkins Motorplex. I'm here on our bottom lot. Up there is our top lot and our main building. Right here beside our shop one is what we call it. This is where every vehicle is gonna come through and get checked in before we start our inspection process and the detailing process. So um, not, not on the video here, it's down this road. We have a, our whole reconditioning facilities and other shops there as well. But here is this 2016 Honda Pilot. Uh, just starting off the video, I'm gonna go around and point out any imperfections I see. And man, for the amount of miles that's on this, obviously not high miles for a Honda, but for the amount of miles, man, this thing is in great shape. Obviously, like you said, there's gonna be some signs of wear and tear and I'll point those out to you. First of all, it does come with just the one key. That's pretty typical. Even, the, even our newest vehicles, we'll get 2024s in and they'll only have one key. So uh, we can definitely get you set up with our key guy if that's something you're interested in. But anyway, let me, uh, here's a wide shot. I'll get a little bit closer here. Get you a shot down the side. I didn't, walking around, I didn't see any dings or anything that would be considered a dent. There are some spots like, I don't even know if the camera will pick this up. Right along this edge, there's a touch-up spot here uh, where there might have been a scratch or something. Both windows have some touch-up spots, or mirrors, I mean, have some touch-up spots, but you can't really see them from even just a couple feet away, as you can tell. But all right, go through the front here. Here's the headlights. No signs of condensation or anything like that, which is always good. There's definitely some rock chips, hard to pick up in video and even when you're standing two feet away because we have touched them up and they did a really good job uh, paint matching those. So some rock chips, but they have been touched up and they're not noticeable at all. As you can see here, wouldn't say at all, but they're not noticeable for even just a few feet away. Looks like a little crack in this fog light is all. The other one's good to go. By the way, tires, plenty of life left in these tires, you'll see. Get you a shot down the side. Again, I'm not seeing any dings, anything that would be considered a dent. Rim looks good, but just a little bit of curb rash right there. Again, this uh, mirror, just some touch-up spots. I'd have to get really close probably for you to notice them. Take literally three feet back, hardly see them at all. here again just a little bit of curb rash on the rims which is certainly not uncommon I'm sure you know and the back here love that you have your backup camera and the power lift gate which is awesome great feature if you're like me at least I love having the power lift gate in the back here a little bit of extra storage then of course those seats will lay down too as well, but it sounds like you'll be using those seats. Shut that there. That'll wrap up the exterior, I believe. Oh, I did miss one spot here. Another little touch up spot there. Like I said, take a few steps back, barely see it at all, but to be expected. Anyways, let's hop on the inside. So something with 120,000 miles, you're probably expecting some, some tears in the, in the leather, and I'm not seeing anything like that. Obviously, a little bit of wear and tear just from sliding driver sliding in and out there. Go here, get you a good look at the inside. Let me hop in here and start it up. And you'll notice, just like any anything, there's a little bit of signs of tear, wear and tear on the inside. Just some color, discoloration there. Nothing major at all. Same, just a little bit here. Hardly noticeable. Of course, you got your sunroof. The sliding color matched. I'm not seeing anything on the ceiling that would even indicate signs of color changing at all. Here's that middle seat. No signs of tear or anything on them. And of course, I looked at the third row, doesn't look like they even use it very often. So here's your passenger seat. Again, some signs of wear, but nothing major at all that would concern me. Here's your center console, outlets of course. 
we've got your rear climate control yeah 126,000 miles i think they'll even be i think it'll qualify for some type of warranty even with those miles which is aw the awesome thing about the warranty company we work with we can talk more about that later uh, but other than that that should wrap up this video let me know if you have any questions at all man